What's up, everybody? My name is Parker Amen. My name is Danny Ferrari. And we are Excellent Sound. Today, we got a smasher of a video. Every day is a smasher. But this one's a very special smash. Every day is a very special smash. This is a little side piece action. You got your main piece, piece got and your then main? you got your side piece. Side piece. Like for us, the main piece is, you know, hybrid trap, dubstep, the heavier shit, you know? The side piece is tech house. I feel like our, we're kind of more house in mid temps. Okay. I put a trap, but I mean, I know what you're saying. You I know? mean, if you want to, maybe a better analogy would be like your girlfriend and my girlfriend, right? But we're each other's side piece. Oh, you're my side piece. Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're my side piece. piece. That's right, two side pieces. Side piece is fucking, oh, guns? You know? Piece. Better be right. fucking quick draw, that dude. Wyatt Earp, dude. Some one of these. Anyways, let's get down to business, you guys. Last week, we sold out of Cartel 3 presale licenses. Mm. Uh, if you guys still want to pick it up, you totally can. You guys will get 150 Serum presets. Oh, yeah? You guys are going to get the Storm Ableton Project file, oh, which yeah. we did a breakdown on. Mm -hmm. Super, super sick. And you get over 700 samples? I think it's, yeah, it's over. I know it's are over a gig. It's about 700. Yeah, the, it's one of the biggest sample packs, for it's sure. A, it's a huge, presets. huge pack. But yeah, so we're, we're getting back into it. We're doing some house stuff now. Switching um, it up a little bit. Yeah, dude, the storm came. It's it's still here a little bit, dude. It's dwindling. We got some fucking rain. There it is, dude. But, you know, we got we to gotta get our house piece back. Dude. You can do, you can do everything with cartel. Piece. You really can. You really can. There's not really a lot of aggressive stuff going on in this one. But there's some there's some fun, cool sound design stuff that we're gonna get into. What's aggressive is your hairstyle right now. Bro, my hair is on point today, dude. I woke up like this, dude. TikTok. I woke up like this. Look at uh, it. You it see is this volume, sick. dude. You look like see Jake. the volume. Yeah. Let's get down to business, you guys. Now, we have a ton of videos going over, you know, house bases, stuff like this. So we're gonna do it something a little bit differently this time. This is still a sick sound. Great bass line. Great, great bass line. We got this dope Reese right here. Layered with the rusty trombone. That's pretty rusty. Super rusty. But for this one, we are gonna be going over how to make this lead right here. It's not a perk. It is not a perk. It sounds really, really sick. It's actually easier to make than you guys think. There's a couple steps that we're gonna go through. It's a cool sound. Dude. And we got the preset in the link down below. So you guys can grab that and the rack as well. Yes, totally free. So free like the video, yeah, like dude. the video, subscribe, do something. We're giving away shit. Why don't you give us a fucking click of a button? Yes, please. exactly. Dude. For fuck's sake. All right, so let's, let's jump into it, you guys. We actually made this sound in Serum. <laughs> So, we got some steps to do. So, it's but, cute. Yeah, it's a, this is a cute little sound, right? It's like a little that's chain it bouncing no, up and down, you That's know? no processing, right? Yeah, that's no process. First things first, though, is the MIDI. There's really nothing to the MIDI, so it's just eighth notes, okay? But you guys are wondering, like, why does it sound like a, like a gallop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on? There's actually some really cool groove pool action going on over here. So what I'm doing is I'm swinging these eighth notes, okay? Ableton has built-in library of different swings that you can choose from. There's MPC swings, there's logic swings, there's a ton of really cool shit in there. So I auditioned a ton and I finally landed on this one, which is the Notator 16th swing. So once you get into the higher subdivisions of rhythm, the swing becomes more artsy and very, you know, little mm -hmm. critical action. So this is the one that I really like, Notator 16C swing right here. And then I dialed it back to 78% timing. And if you, if you don't know how to do that, you just go over, you pick your MIDI window, you go over here to your groove, you just add it from your group pool. Boom. And then you, you know if you hit commit, it actually moves the MIDI notes? Yeah. Which is pretty cool so you can see it, but it, otherwise it looks like it's not. It's cool to commit it if you're gonna be playing with the rhythms. If it's just something that's eighth notes like this, I usually keep it like this, but if you were to commit it, it would look like this. See how it just changed yeah. everything, boom. Which is cool if you wanted to copy this for a different sound, you know? Right. But yeah, so that's step one. Make your MIDI notes, throw some swing on that bitch, and then you got your serum. So we're gonna start with a triangle wave on oscillator A, and then we're gonna have a layer of noise. Now before we get into any of that stuff, we wanna shape the actual oscillator A first. So we're gonna start with envelope one. We're gonna put our attack to 0.5 and put hold all the way down, decay at 102, and then we're going to put the sustain all the way down, the release at 15 milliseconds. 
Now that we've dialed in envelope one, we want to make it a little bit more plucky. So we're going to design LFO one to have a little nice swoop like this. Really high attack right here. I'm going to throw it onto the level of oscillator A. And we're going to pull this up to about, I would say, 70%. Very nice. Sweet. Now we're going to put the octave all the way down to. And then we are going to add to the noise section. Now, this is where the main sound actually comes from, is this noise section. So this is kind of like a sampler, if you will. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's got a bunch of different little attacky samples. There's some like white noise in here. But I was auditioning. I was looking for a really nice percussive sound. And I landed on XF Slice 2. Now, a couple of these are actually really, really cool. I would say XF Slice 1 is really cool. And I was messing with some of the glass lids up here. And it sounded actually really, really cool. But we're going for accuracy on this remake as per usual. So the closest that I could find was XF Slice 2 without going into like a custom sample. You it sounds a saying? little more like woody. Yeah. Versus like the glass attacks, which are really nice, really cool. They're they sound like glass. More hollow this sounds sounding. more like a like a percussive sort of. Yeah. So we got XF Slice 2, and we're going to put that same LFO 1 onto the level of the noise. Nice. Now, when we were making this, we were going back and forth between oscillator A and the noise. We really wanted to try to get the sound with just like a synth, you know? But it wasn't as accurate. We originally had this up an octave which was cool, but we wanted to give it a little bit more body, so we went down two octaves, and now that's like a really nice wood, wood knock right there. There's a couple other steps that we're gonna be going over. So let's move on to LFO2. We are gonna make a super, super plucky pyramid over here. We got high attack right here, and it's gonna go shoot right down. So we're gonna keep this on rate 16, BPM, and trigger on. And we're gonna throw this on the course pitch right here, and we're gonna put this up to 76. And this is gonna be kind of like more body, a little more lasery, pitchy stuff. Even more plucky even more plucky. Now that we dialed this in, let's move on to the effects section. So the first things first is an EQ. I kind of, I made this sound really, really knocky and I gave it to Danny to kind of see what he was gonna add to it. And he added this really, really sick EQ right here. He put the frequency to 99 over here, Q at 58% and gain 7 dB. Oh, so yeah. a lot, a lot of gain, two decibels of gain on the right hand side, frequency 12K, Q at 45%. The reason why you made this so brutal is because you wanted it to be really fucking plucky, right? Yeah, I wanted to accentuate these specific frequencies. Applying the LFO, the first LFO on it, shoots that gain up super high and pushes those frequencies up even more. It helped with frequency matching. And then along with like the note on the frequency on the left side, the note LFO, you can kind of see how that is wherever I push the keys, it's going to change that actual notch right there. Those two, those two pierced nipple notches right there, dude, those are everything. Look at this nipple notch. Just right here. So he picked the fundamentals and then he put note on the frequency to keep it all in the scale. Yep. So another really cool rule, once you have those really piercing nipples, you gotta <laughs> you gotta put a compressor on to compress those pierced nipples. You right? got if you pierce your nipples, make sure you compress them so that they don't stick out through your shirt. Yeah, you gotta bring the lower level up to match that high pierced nipple up top. Pierce your nipples. And then we got some mids pulled up and the highs, we pulled it back. We want to keep that not, not a lot of high end action. A lot of gain too yeah, on that. A lot of gain. Next up, we have a tube distortion. Pretty simple. Sometimes you can even put an LFO on the drive if you wanted to. But that kind of defeats the purpose of the cleanliness of this knock. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to make it a little bit more dirty, you can you can do that. Next up, we have a filter. We just do MG Low 6. Cut off at 8 hertz, 0% res, drive 0, and then fat 0. But we're going to throw the LFO on these guys. Mix is going to be all the way up on this. Now, this is the same kind of technique that Danny was doing up top right over here with his little pierced nipples over here. More pierced so nips. He put the LFO 32 on drive, fat at 100%. And then finally, to cap it off, we have a nice delay. Adding some more texture. We took BPM off and we turned it down to 15 milliseconds right over here. This sounds really cool, but in context, it sounds a little, a little strange. 
So it's almost there, but it's the the life is not there. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the sound, the shape is there. But it's a little dirty, a little dirty. So we're gonna do some post-processing on this. But before we get into the post-processing, if you guys wanna get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. If you guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you wanna get this project file, you wanna join the legacy tier, you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. So first things first in this chain, we got an EQ. We're taking out the lows, but not too much to take away the body. Next up, we got a noise OTT. Pulling up the mids, pulling up the highs. And then after we got another OTT. We're really, really crushing this thing. Pulling up the mids again and then pulling up the highs just a little bit. Now, if you can hear this second level of OTT, it's starting to kind of glue that texture together. Yeah. It was getting a little loosey goosey with the simple delay. It was getting a little loose with all of the EQ stuff we were doing in Serum. But the OTT is really bringing it together. The nipples were starting to droop. From, yes. the, from the piercing? We want perky pierce nips, okay? Perky, so you gotta double compress. We compressed, now we even smashed them. So now those, those pierce nips are super tight, right yeah, there. You gotta pierce them on the fundamental, yeah. all right? You heard it here first. And then last, we gotta clean up those lows again. So now in context after. It's pretty much there. So the next step, you obviously have to do a pitch bend from the first note all the way down. And then what we wanted to do is we were messing with the different pitching algorithms. We started with this and then we were kind of going back and forth with, you know, what sounds right. And we tried pitching on in audio. It sounded actually way different than it did, yeah. pitching it beforehand and then freezing it. But we landed on doing it in MIDI first and then freezing it after. And then we also were experimenting with the reverb. So after we froze it and freeze and flattened it, we added just a normal, you know, Ableton reverb. And that really brought it together. Something I was really thinking about too with reverb, I don't know if you agree with me. Everybody, we all love Ableton reverb. Mm -hmm. It sounds fucking awesome. But I was thinking, is the only reason we like Ableton reverb because everybody uses Ableton reverb and we're just so familiar with that sound in things and that's why we like it, you know? I feel like- I, Some fucking theory for you. I'm you know okay. what I'm saying, dude? I, I hear you. I feel like a lot of times with, with reverb, you got like Valhalla. A lot of people use Valhalla. Yeah. Or you use Ableton and reverb and I don't think it's necessarily a sound thing I think it's like a different tool you got a rubber mallet and then you got like a hammer you know what I'm saying so yeah. like they both do the same thing but you're gonna hammer a nail with a steel hammer versus with a rubber mallet you're gonna just shove yeah. it up your ass I, I usually use the Ableton Reverb more more than Valhalla, personally. Yeah. I use Valhalla for very certain things, kind of like what you're saying with a different tool. But I, I don't know, I just wanted to throw it I, out No, I think that's a, that's a different... Uh, we, do we just like it because that's what we're comfortable in hearing? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no. If everybody used Valhalla... I know, it's, yeah, you don't know. We don't know. So I just wanted to throw that theory out there. But that is the final step in the sound. And then we did a nice volume shaper for the side chain to kind of get it dipping in and out. Get that really galloping sound. And then all together, it sounds like this. second one it just gets pitched an octave lower and we did that same thing but we kept the pitch rate the same in the automation we just pulled it down an octave with the midi mm -hmm. which that's a that's it's cool we were going back and forth again we tried it with the audio and it sounded just it sounded really weird dude yeah you know they sound weird. different it's two different like algorithms yeah. going on so. two different algorithms but that is our side piece remake thank you guys for watching if you guys learned something 
you guys smoked some nugs of nod with us, drop a fucking like, drop a saturated sub. Dude. Click a button, that's all we're asking you to do. Give us some fucking YouTube attention. Let's help that algorithm. We showed you some algorithms over here. Give us some Show algorithms. Show us some YouTube algorithms. If you haven't checked out Cartel Volume 3, Ooh. go check that out right over there. Boom, there you have it. And we'll see you guys on the next week. Absolutely. Let's play this out. Yeah.